My name is John Odie and I'm a computer forensics examiner. Least prevalence is a, is a fairly new feature that I found really, really handy. Uh, basically what it does is it takes all the executables that are on your network and then are, are in the world, basically not just your network, and it tells you the ones that are the, the one-offs, the least prevalent executables. Um, one that I have found interesting was called notepad.exe. So you have a real notepad.exe, which every Windows operating system has, and then you have this one that was created by a developer called notepad.exe. Now because um, it matches, or because it looks at the SHA-256, which is um, just, it's a fingerprint of the contents of the file, you can name the file whatever you want, um, but if those uh, contents change, then that's when the SHA-256 change. So SHA-256 SHA of the real notepad.exe, that's convicted as good, right? Another notepad.exe, doesn't have the same SHA-256, it gets loaded into the least prevalent executable. So I could see the one-offs on the network, and that's typically gonna be a developer's workstation. But if you have somebody in finance, somebody in marketing, somebody in, uh, that doesn't do development have an unknown binary on their endpoint, you might wanna take a look, because it could be, it could be several things. Um, most likely it's an unknown uh, malware executable that's living on that endpoint. And that's, that's just a quick way to drill down if, if you're um, you know, having some downtime and you want to see what binaries are least prevalent on the network, that's a great way to find something, find a zero day.